Hello, welcome back to the Marquette Public Library audio series. Today we will be reading Of My Travels, Volume 3 by Zach Holmes. Let's get started. My journey continues as I hug the coast of England and make my way to Scotland. I hope to, f to finally complete my tour of the British Isles. The land of Elbon, as they call it so far. I visited southern England, from London to the British Isle Isles, the nation-state. I have seen many things that warrant writing down. I regret to say I have yet to see the round table or the sword in the stone. Not even the Lady of the Lake have I laid my eyes upon. Regardless, I make w my way north to the first town, Edinburgh. Edinburgh is a small s settlement, not large, but quite beautiful. It is surrounded by flowers and many other plants. I do not stay long, and I have much to see. I journey ever northward. I finally arrive in Caledonia, that is the name of this city, a small but fair farming village. I don't stay long as I continue to explore the British Isles. I'll make my way to Lyric, another farming settlement. Finally, I reach Ireland. And what a sight to behold. Ireland is a beautiful and well development. The city, the jewel of the Celts. It is a city filled with many buildings. My favorite being the large red town hall. The glass is littered with flowers also which makes for a beautiful sight. As I sail away, I content with my journey of the British Isles, especially now that war has come. I recall in my last book, I talked about what a united Britain would look like. I had no intention of causing a war here. I hope my books did not inspire such ideas. Nevertheless, war has come to the British Isles. The war for Great Britain, Great England and Great Britain has begun. The United Kingdom, which rules from stirring their capital in the North Moors, Scotland, has declared war upon the British Isles, the town, with a cassie belly of uniting all great of Great Britain. The war will be tomorrow, in fact, as of the time I am writing this. I am sure to document the war in detail. I hope to be there for the great battle that will take place. Regardless, I set off for Germany. I have much more exploring to get on with. I stopped quickly at New Paris before departing for Germany. The town has come along together since I last wrote. The streets are gorgeous white polished diorite, and they have put built a small but beautiful Catholic church. I'm beginning to love this small town. I'm sure it had a great future, and it seems I was right. I depart from New Paris and head east. My first stop is Norfolk, a cap capital of the new Celtic Republic. It has recently acquired Paris from the old owner and merged the two towns into it is a metropolis. And I am assuming that's due to the merger. The town of Norfolk in itself is quite nice. It has a nice Protestant church with a Tesco store around the corner and a pub. I leave Norfolk and head towards Spring Court, the first town I will see in the Germanic Union. It is a small settlement by the Rhine River. As I enter, I see a small hobbit holes as homes. Spring Court is a beautiful small settlement. The vegetation is all around, and the place is, has many hobbit holes throughout. I ha am delighted to have seen it. I cross the Rhine into mainland Germany. I set out for Hanover. When I reach it, I find it <coughs> not be a small settlement, not large, at, and at very few buildings. It seems to have just begun its development. So I move to Nordenham. When I reach it, I am greeted by a large town filled with dramatic buildings among which include a factory, a large castle, and many others. It is a true dramatic town. A statue of a white hawk or eagle stands in the center of the town. I look forward to, this, to the next towns I go to. I reach Germania. 
The large city is quite a sight to behold, and the astronomically huge town hall stands at, out as the landmark extraction of the city. It is so large I wonder if it's a jest. If towns over the whole city and while the rest of the city is nice, the main building catches the attention of any onlooker. The town of Hormic Germanicus is a smaller, though perhaps more serious Germanic town. It is truly a Germanic town with houses and other buildings throughout. I continue on to Prague. Prague is a more castle than it is a settlement. Indeed, it is a mighty castle filled with what at any castle would need. It is truly an impressive work. If you ever stop in Germany, this is a must see. And with that, Germany is done. I now begin my journey of the Balkans and Greece, then to to the east, though through Constantinople. I set out immediately. I travel south this time and cross the Danube River. My first stop is in a small town called Slivia. Slivia. I talked to the inhabitants there, and they told me they are going to make Yugoslavia. I loved it, their small town as it looked like a Slavic village. I continue onwards to the next city. The first Balkan city I visited was Kosovo. It is a large town and it's very great open feel to it. They have a nice town hall and a fantastic mining system in the mountains. The mines are clearly marked by the entrance of wood. I can continue on to the next town. Albania was my next stop, capital of the Mugi Empire. We had finally reached the Eastern Kingdoms. Albania is a large town situated by the sea on the western coast of the Balkans. It, is, it boasts an impressive castle with an emblem of the Ottoman Empire, the gem of the east, the Mugi Empire. It is a force to be reckoned with. I continue east to the town of Lokos. It is a beautiful ma uh, Macedonian hamlet made in a plain Macedonian town. They use orange wood as a common theme throughout their buildings. A large statue like the ones we have in Rome is in the center part of the town at the Erigo or city center. I continue my journey to the east. The town of Socia is next, then on to Bucharest and Venera. Then the, to the jewel of the east, Constantinople. Afterwards, the journey to Asian Minor and the Holy Land. End of book three. Thank you for listening to the Marquette Public Library audio series. I hope to see you next time. Take care.